So we haven't done a 329 yet. Um, a lot of things are very similar. The O-rings in the block, the liner, you know, overall design is still very John Deere. Uh, no cam bushings in the block, a lot lighter crankshaft. So this crankshaft, you can, I literally just set that crank in by hand. Um, the rods, wrist pins are also a lot smaller, pistons a lot smaller. So they're actually kind of a peppy, vroom, vroom, you know, snappy engine. But one of the big differences is you've got your front plate <clears throat> that will hold a, an idler gear and your oil pump gear up here instead of having a camshaft driven oil pump like a lot of your 404s were. Um, head's a lot lighter. And so, yeah. But let's uh, let's get this guy. Let's get these connecting rods onto the pistons, and then get them lowered into that block. Front is up, front is up. Even if you didn't remove the other side, always check them because that one was not in place. So if I wouldn't have checked it, it would have fell out. Just like all the other engines, so that early 4020, uh, we bolted the liner down and we checked liner height. Uh, on these other engines, a lot of John Deere engines will have this O-ring on the liner. <clears throat> I want to show you it's more important than ever on them engines to put two bolts on that liner to crush it down because you can literally feel the difference from this side where it's crushed down to this side where it isn't crushed down. It, uh, I don't know if that's showing up on camera. You don't need an indicator in, in real life to see the difference because you're trying to crush that packing down um, and so I just wanted to show that so it's important that you use two bolts to get that liner down and square and bottomed out when you check liner height so let's get the rest of these cylinders in and then flip it over and get the bearings and rod caps on the one thing we want to watch for is these rod caps have a groove on each side Remember when you do your 404 and 466s, you had a male and a female, so it was impossible to put the rod cap on backwards. The big thing on these is you can. So then you got your <clears throat> lock tab to lock tab and your number. So, yeah, that's just the key thing there. Otherwise, uh, <clears throat> your crank is always in the right position for at least two. So slide these two up, get these two together. And uh, we'll roll the crank a little bit and then catch two and five and then roll a little bit in one and six. But, yep, otherwise, fairly common to the others. And then uh, 
once they're all together then we'll pull the bolt lock tight it and torque the bolts down <clears throat> everybody's torqued and uh then it's just kind of nice to just give it one final rollover and it's very smooth and consistent and that's what we're looking for and uh yep now on this weird little engine i think what i'll do next is uh let's focus on the end housings there's a big cast iron end plate here and a steel plate here and uh let's work on them <clears throat> okay so we got the front plate on there's nothing special to show you there back plate went on um rear main seals in <clears throat> so far nothing really goofy uh cam timing so if you have the four cylinder engine with your balancer shafts you have to time them off the crankshaft and you use a straight edge <clears throat> and your cam timing so there's not even a, a mark on the gear for cam timing and so what you're going to do is point your gear to the crankshaft and you we can get a straight edge to go across for better uh, and then when you put this intermediate gear you want to be careful that you're not changing that um, some of the cam gears here might have a two four six indicator on them or a two four six whatever um, then you want to go how many cylinders you have is it a four cylinder or six cylinder and you go to that mark but this this gear just has that little tiny mark so we'll put a straight edge across the john deere tool is a a v with a straight edge off the middle um so the fun of this injection pump is the little cup seal we got to work him into place it's not hard to do um we got our three six so you're gonna aim him to the crankshaft we got our button in that goes against the timing cover and you're gonna just take your kind of quote-unquote dull o-ring pick and you're just gonna work around this guy but i'm gonna use my other hand to support the weight um i don't know if i can set you anywhere or not to to see this let's try it let's just try it um I might need a, a flashlight. My eyes ain't what they used to be. I don't like this side. Let me just... So he's in there. It's still snagged. Where is it? I almost need my glasses off. <clears throat> yeah. So there we're lined up, and uh, it took me a couple tries to to <clears throat> get the gear in line, and then pull the gear out. Had to fine tune the pump position a little bit, and then drop it back in, and. Uh, were there so 
Yeah, I was one gear off. And with the plate here, I need to make a new plate for this engine stand. Um, with the plate, I can't rock the pump a whole lot. But we're there. We're lined up. We're snugged up. And I think, I think, I think, possibly timing cover. Doing the valve lash. Start on a number one top dead center. Very different than the other engines that we're used to. The other engines was, um, you'd have exhaust, intake, intake, exhaust, exhaust. These are intake, exhaust, intake, exhaust, intake, exhaust. Hey. Little goofball. So valve train is quite a bit different. Intake, exhaust, intake, exhaust versus the other ones of exhaust, intake, intake, exhaust, exhaust. The other ones was also a one, two, three, every other one, where these are one, two, three, skip two, do two, skip two, do one, then, then roll it to number six, and then do the two and the two that you missed. So very different on the valve train. Also, you got an adjuster bolt with no jam nut. These little suckers are just turned very hard inside so that's where i you know snap out a lot of companies have the flank drive you you might you need a good half inch wrench not some old wore out spread out thing um but yeah other than that pretty normal